Alright, Gideon stuff. I am in my noisy backyard again. I apologize for that. But today, I'm super excited because we've got an unboxing. And it's a really cool one. This is a knife I have been very, very excited for. And I'm very happy that I was able to acquire one. So, we're going to be getting into this with the Civivi um, Vision FG. Very cool knife as well. Really been liking uh, this guy quite a bit. Make sure you get all the corners cut. And I can open this without showing any address information. Did I not cut something? No, I cut it all. Oh, that's just really stuck in there. Okay, well, just do it like that then. Alrighty. Yeah, still rock solid. I like that a lot. How's the lighting right now? I know I'm sitting in like this little... <laughs> this chair I'm sitting in right now is kind of low. Here, let's see, what if I... Uh... <laughs> there. Looks a little bit better. Okay, I want the lighting to be good for this video. There goes a motorcycle. All right. And right there, you all know what this is, right? Just by seeing that, you all know what this is. How do people stand living in the city, I swear? All righty, so, comes with a little sticker, yep. Comes with a cloth, this is really, really Cool. Let's see what this cloth looks like. Oh, it's an unbranded cloth. Already. I dig it. That will be added to my cloth pile. And here's the knife. And I, I was able to get the version I wanted. Oh, man. The aluminum Devo Knives Growler. Perfect centering. Okay. So, the original Growler was a knife that I liked a lot. I was a big fan of this knife. In fact, when I first got this knife, I went out into the woods and I did some testing and I was so impressed, I sent a message to Lefty EDC and I was like, holy cow, this knife is amazing. Uh, and I stand by that. I, I really, really like the design of the Growler. And this was a knife that I absolutely loved. I carried it a lot. But there were some things that I complained about quite a bit. Um, again, you can go watch my original review. There were some things that I definitely did not love about this knife. And I think they fixed all of them with this version right here. So right away, one of the things I didn't like was the clip on this knife. The clip worked fine, but mine broke, and there's there's this whole there's this whole backstory with that. You guys can you know watch the video. Wire clip, it's still reversible, so lefties are included. That's awesome. Really happy to have a wire clip there. The next thing I kind of complained about was the that this had no jimping. I was like, I, I wish there was jimping here. They delivered, and uh, they delivered in spades. That is. That's awesome to see, full jimping. The next thing I didn't like was the opening hole. It was a little bit big. Sometimes you get your whole finger in there and, you know, and this, these were complaints that a lot of other people had as well. They fixed the opening hole here. See that? I'll, I'll tell you what. Living in the city sucks. <laughs> Anyways, they fixed the opening hole. Um, let's, let, let's see if the, the detent's good. The detent on mine was okay. I know a lot of people had a lot of problems with their detents. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh. Very solid. Stonewash blade, 154 cm. The original was 14C, I think. Pretty sure it was. 
Um, and the next thing I can I, I kind of complain about wasn't a huge complaint. The arrows on this knife are great, but I wish that it had contoured scales. Contoured scales right here. I just noticed that they have the blade steel marking down there. I was checking the other one, but it doesn't have it there. Yeah. These scales are slightly contoured. I think the carbon fiber and uh, G10 ones were a little bit more contoured, but... Oh, man. Very comfortable. That jimping has a great texture. The wind's blowing my crap everywhere. Fantastic texture. Ken, you got that great 50-50 choil. Oh my goodness. The action is absolutely stupid. A little bit of side-to-side -side play. I'll, I'll get that tightened up, no problem. Uh, they put some jimping on the liner. Makes it easy to disengage. I wonder if I could front flip this. <laughs> yep, whether that's a, a, supposed to be a feature or not, I don't care, that's fun. I love this design. Um, this is a really, really interesting pocket knife. It's basically all belly, and coming from Lefty EDC and Colin Mason Pierre, that's not something that I would have expected. You know, knowing Colin's other designs, knowing the things that Lefty likes, this is kind of opposite to that. But, I mean, the blade works so well. Uh, this thing is fantastic for slicing. You got a lot of edge here. You can do some good slicing. Skin, I mean, this would be a great outdoor knife. I told this to Lefty too, and I'm gonna keep saying it. This would make an amazing EDC fixed blade or outdoor fixed blade. I mean, the, geez, the grips you get this knife in, you can get really, really nice cuts for skinning. Food prep is really, really good. I tested this thing on wood. It works really, really nicely. This is just a very nice blade shape. It's a very unique knife all the way around. There's, th this really stands out. There's nothing else like this in the market right now. And um, yeah, I love it. Of course, I had to go with the, the, the blue aluminum. I love blue, I love aluminum. This When I saw they were doing this version, I was absolutely thrilled. Silver accents on the backspacer and the pivot collar. I will say the carbon fiber version also looked amazing. Amazing, but this is the one I wanted and I'm so glad I was able to snatch one up. Now, what should I... <laughs> I'm kind of, should I make a review on this knife, right? These are all sold out. They sold out day one. Uh, I was really lucky to get my hands on one. Um, well, I wasn't lucky. I planned it out. I was waiting there with my finger on the button. Um, but this this unboxing video is already going to be kind of late. It's probably going to be coming out late September. It's Right now it's the 13th. Um, this will probably be coming out late September. But... Should I do a review of this? I would absolutely love to test this knife and make another video on it, but, you know, they're all sold out. I don't know if Devo's gonna do another run. I could probably ask. Um, they might do another run, uh, but I wanna hear from you guys. You know, should I, do you want a full length review on this? Of course, you know, the way my channel works, the full length review won't be out until heaven knows when, uh, but, you know, it's a fantastic knife. I did wanna make this video here. And compare it just a little bit to the um, to the original. All the changes they made were needed. All the changes they made were things that I had issues with. And of course, it wasn't just me. It was other reviewers as well, right? But it's great to see companies take advice into consideration. And especially, I mean, Devo Knives is run by a YouTuber um, in part. And so, obviously, they've got kind of a direct link to the community and, the, the, and what the community wants and needs. Um, but the other thing too is because this is a small batch maker, right? Um, they're able to, I, I think, be a little more flexible with catering their designs to the community. You would think that a, that a big, big company who's making thousands of models would be able to, you know, correct more easily but the thing is at least 
what I've noticed is that once a big company says decides this is the way something's going to be, if there's problems with it, it'll be a while before the community sees those problems fixed, if at all, because you know companies got to get rid of all the stock they already had, and then you know they you know they can make an, another run. But when you've got a small maker like this, you know the first batch they took the feedback from that and they said, okay, this knife has a lot of potential, which thank God, they recognize the potential this knife has. This knife had a lot of potential. And they said, let's let's fix it. You know, let's make it as good as it possibly can be. And they did. I, I gotta say, right out of the box, there's nothing about this that is jumping out to me as wrong. There's nothing that's like, oh, you know, they should have done this differently. It's just incredibly well executed. And I love seeing that. I really love seeing that. Um, it's a beautiful knife, too. I mean, if I had to nitpick, I guess I can feel the clip a little bit more than I could on the old one. But, I mean, I'm really, really reaching here. It's not a problem that detracts in any way. Just a really, really cool knife. Very cool company. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Devo knives. You, you should be, at least. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I was able to get my hands on this. This is one of my favorite EDC knife designs, uh, hands down. And seeing it made even better with this version really, really warms my heart. Because yeah, this version here, I absolutely loved. Um, I carry this a lot in the field. Uh, it just, it was a good pocket knife to have. I could, you know, this blade is so versatile. There's a lot of things I could do with it. But, I did stop carrying it for a while, just just because it got overshadowed by other things. It's going to take a lot for this knife to get overshadowed, I'll tell you that right now. This is, this is very, very cool. This is definitely one of my favorite knife purchases of this year. So, thank you to Devo Knives for just being an awesome part of the community and bringing fantastic knives. And also the value on this I thought was great. 154cm aluminum, it's a small batch maker run, right? And these were, you know, 109 bucks. I use a coupon code LEFTY10, you know, 99 bucks for this. Uh, I thought it was, I thought it was absolutely fine. So great, great knife. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I'll make any more videos on it. You guys let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and get inside out of all this noise and get some uh, get some homework done. But yeah, fantastic knife. I'm I'm so glad that uh, they did a round two. So and yeah, then it's just great to have a knife where this doesn't happen very often. Okay, I know I said I was gonna end the video, but I'm rambling. This doesn't happen very often where I have a knife where I'm like, oh, this is so cool, but I wish X Y Z and then XYZ happens. You know, that doesn't that doesn't happen all the time, and uh, I'm glad it did in this case, so. Yeah, there we go, very excited about this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe, you know the deal. I've been Gideon, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.